Hello lovely kids how are you all i hope you all are doing well so as you know today we are going to discuss the questions of the chapter reproduction in organisms so basically uh, this is a chapter that will uh, that basically clear your uh, doubts about the phases of reproduction whether it is asexual or sexual reproduction it is a very short chapter but very important if you want to clear your basics so without any delay let's start with the questions so here first question is which are, which one of the following or which of the following plant is monoecious so you have 1 minute or 30 to 40 seconds i'll give uh, which of the following plant is monoecious monoecious means single parent monoecious means single parent so in this plant male flower that is terminate and female flower that is pistillate are present on same plant this is about angiosperms for angiosperms this is the definition for monoecious but for other plants the definition is when male and female reproductive organ are present on same plant when male and female reproductive organ present on the same plant this is for other plants this is a definition for other plant so which means male and female uh, the organs they are present on the same plant answer will be cara answer will be cara which is a green algae which is a green algae if we talk about marchensia cycas and papaya all these are dioecious dioecious means two parents male organ will be present on the male parent and female organ will be present on the female parent right so marchensia cycas marchensia is a bryophyte Marchensia is a bryophyte. Cycas is a gymnosperm, and the Scarica papaya is an angiosperm. Is an angiosperm. So answer is Cara. Cara is monoecious. Cara is monoecious. I hope this is clear to all of you. Very direct question. Very easy question. clear next a species which was introduced for ornamentation but has become troublesome weed or invasive weed in india you all know the answer of this i know icornia chrysippus prosopis trepa or parthenium which was introduced for ornamentation for its beautiful appearance it was introduced in india answer will be icornia chrysippus also known as water hyacinth it was introduced in india due to its beautiful flower and the shape of the leaf introduced in india due to beautiful flower and shape of the leaf shape of the leaf right but it uh, did not have any natural predator in india that's why it grew so faster and 
covered the whole water body and put threat on the aquatic plant and animal right it is also known as terror of bengal it is also known as terror of bengal so answer here will be one the icornia chrysipes also known as water hyacinth the basically this plant is mentioned in three chapters reproduction in organisms biodiversity and environmental issues so this is the important one next is vegetative propagulin agave or agave is termed as bulbils bulbils they are the large fleshy bud present on the shoot present on the shoot it is nothing but a modified floral bud so instead of flower instead of flower now they are making the whole plant through bulbils bulbils they are the large fleshy bud which are formed from the floral bud offset is you can find in water hyacinth water hyacinth this i word is basically related to the bud uh, in potato and rhizome you can find in ginger and your uh, turmeric right but here they are asking about agave and in agave bulbils are present bulbils basically are the large fleshy buds present on the shoot they are basically modified floral bud the floral bud which was supposed to form the flower now it has formed the bulbils and bulbil when came in contact with uh, the ground the soil it will form a new plant it is it will form a new plant this is the question number 3 i hope everything is clear next in some plants the female gamete develops into embryo without fertilization so they are asking that when unfertilized egg directly develops into embryo what is this known as parthenocarpy apomixis no the answer here is parthenogenesis when the unfertilized egg is directly develops into embryo this is known as parthenogenesis what is parthenocarpy when ovary without fertilization develops into fruit when ovary without fertilization directly develops into fruit that is known as parthenocarpy and what is syngamy you all know syngamy is fusion of male and female gamete right what is autogamy autogamy means pollination within the flower pollination within the flower when the pollination occurs within the same flower it is known as autogamy parthenocarpy when ovule without fertilization develops into fruit syngamy fusion of female and male gamete and parthenogenesis means when unfertilized egg directly develops into develops into embryo so answer here will be question number 4 question number 4 sorry uh, option number 4 clear next offsets are produced by bachche what is offset 
So these are leaves. Okay. Uh, and these are roots. And this plant is basically growing on the water, aquatic plant. So now what will happen, Bachi? One branch is here and there's a node here. This is node, this is node. And at this node, another plant, new plant will be formed. This is node and this is internode. So when this will break, this can form a new plant. And this can you see, in, this is the type of vegetative propagation. Vegetative propagation in plants like water hyacinth. In plants like water hyacinth. Right? So vegetative propagation means mitotic division because meiotic division occurs during sexual reproduction. During sexual reproduction. Meiotic division occurs during sexual reproduction. So in vegetative propagation is a type of asexual reproduction and in asexual reproduction mitosis occurs, not meiosis. Meiosis always occur during sexual reproduction, during sexual reproduction. Clear? Okay then. Which of the following flowers once in their lifetime? Such plants are known as monocarpic. Such plants are known as monocarpic. Which of the following plant flowers once in their lifetime? Very direct question. Here the answer will be some bamboo species that can live up to 100 years and then can flower and form the new plant uh, seeds and new plant. Jackfruit, mango, papaya, they are polycarpic. Flowers many times. Polycarpic plant, they flower many times. Bamboo species are monocarpic. They flower only once in their lifetime, then give seeds and then die. Clear everyone? Okay then. Special features about straw bilanthus kunthiana. Straw bilanthus kunthiana is monocarpic, which means flower once in their lifetime, and perennial. Perennial means live for many years, that is 12 years, and then give seeds and then die, right? So here perennial means the plant that lives for many years, the plant that lives for many years is perennial and the plant that give fruits only once in their lifetime that are monocarpic. So yes, they basically flowers once in 12 years and then give seeds and then die. Such plants are known as monocarpic. They live for many years, they live for 12 years and then give flowers, seeds and then die and then die. Right? Monocarpic means flower once in their lifetime and then die. And perennial means that the plant lives for many years, more than two years. The plant that lives for one year is annual, that lives for two years is biennial, and that lives for many years is perennial.
so strobilanthus kunthiana also known as nira kuranji because of its beautiful uh, blue or violet flowers according to ncrt last time they showed flowering in 2006 but in 2018 they also show flowering it was not it is not updated in the ncrt and next time they will show flowering in 2030 next is which of the following pair is not correctly matched which of the following pair is not correctly matched agave we all know it is bulbils not stolons water hyacinth uh, offset potato eyes yes ginger rhizobium the potato is basically the underground stem this is the ground this is the soil surface the underground stem got swollen right and this is known as this is known as potato so this is underground stem right and this is potato tuber and these are nodes and in nodes you will see birds you will see birds and that is known as i that is known as i right and in ginger you will see this is the soil surface this is the underground stem they grow horizontal horizontally like this and this is the node and you will see there are roots coming out from this right and also some birds so these are birds these are roots right and this is underground stem this is underground stem so this is what happened in ginger they grow horizontally horizontally to the soil surface so all of these are correct except one one is incorrect agave has bulbils not stolons not stolons okay next which one of the following generates new genetic combinations you all know this very easy question new genetic combination comes from variation and variation comes due to crossing over crossing over during meiosis crossing over during meiosis and meiosis occurs in sexual reproduction meiosis occurs in sexual reproduction not nucellar uh, polyembryony not vegetative propagation no parthenogenesis meiosis occurs during sexual reproduction new genetic combination is formed due to meiosis clear next is which one of the following is not correct is not correct in potato banana ginger plantlets arise from internode no node everything arise from node so first is incorrect water hyacinth growing in a standing water yes drains out the oxygen from water yes leads to the death of fishes also known as terror of bengal offspring produced by asexual reproduction are clones which means similar to each other and also similar to their parents 
माइक्रोस्कोपिक मोटाइल ए सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन स्ट्रक्चर इज नोन एज जू स्पोर यस दीज आर जू स्पोर कॉमन इन एलगी दे आर मोस्टली कॉमन इन एलगी दे आर मोस्टली कॉमन इन एलगी सो फर्स्ट इज इन करेक्ट फर्स्ट इज इन करेक्ट क्लियर so it is not arising from the node it is arising from the in, uh, not from internode it is arising from the node first is incorrect match the following when the pistils are fused together it is known as syncarpus syn means fused formation of gamete is known as gametogenesis hypha of ascomycetes it is a fungi they are dikaryotic which means the cell having two types of nucleus cell having two types of nucleus dikaryotic c unisexual flower female flower we call it pistillate i already told you in the first year second question the unisexual female flower is known as pistillate they having only gynoecium having only gynoecium okay so answer will be the a matches with 3 b matches with 1 c matches with 4 and d matches with 2 answer will be option number 2 answer will be option number 2 i hope this is clear to all of you no doubt okay the ginger vegetative propagation occurs through bulbils it occurs in agave rana it occurs in grasses rhizome yes offset occurs in water hyacinth water hyacinth so i told you i drew the diagram the ginger propagate through rhizome propagate through rhizome clear which of the following pairs is not correctly matched not correctly matched rhizome banana yes another example of rhizome is ginger and another example is turmeric banana ginger turmeric rhizome occur in it binary fission sagesum sagesum is a multicellular fungi it is a multicellular fungi binary fission occurs in amoeba paramecium euglena bacteria diatoms it does not occur in multicellular organism so second is incorrect conidia penicillium yes conidia they are non motile asexual spore without flagella non motile asexual spore like this they are non motile asexual spore offset water hyacinth we all know yes the second is incorrect binary fission does not occur in multicellular organism binary fission occur in unicellular like amoeba paramecium euglena bacteria and diatoms 
and diatoms clear next which of the following is wrong about kara wrong about kara is a green algae right so i'll just make a diagram here that it has a long shoot and it has a short shoot and it has node right so here this is the long shoot this is the dwarf shoot so let me make a detailed diagram of this dwarf shoot so a detailed diagram of a, a dwarf shoot is that at each node you will see that at the upper surface you will see the female organ and below you will see the male organ this is known as oogonium female organ also known as nucule oogonium or nucule female organ and this is enthridium or also known as globule right so as you can see the kara has long shoot and dwarf shoot and i have formed a detailed structure of a dwarf shoot in dwarf shoot at each node at each node at the upper position you will see the female sex organ and at lower position you will see the male sex organ so let's see globule is the male reproductive structure yes upper oogonium and lower enthridium yes globule and nucule present on the same plant yes upper enthridium and lower oogonium no upper oogonium and lower enthridium at the upper position oogonium is present at lower position enthridium is present enthridium is present so fourth is wrong fourth is wrong clear next meiosis takes place in megaspore meiocyte yes meiocyte is a cell in which meiosis occurs to form meiospore to form meiospore so megaspore is a meiospore mega spore is a meiospore conidia no it is a asexual spore gemule no it is a asexual bud or sorry it is a method of asexual reproduction right so yes meiosis meiosis takes place in meiocyte to form meiospores to form meiospores clear so as you can see that so easy questions basically uh, uh, are asked from this chapter not so difficult one this is a very basic or easy chapter a monoecious plant kara shows the occurrence of i already discussed this upper oogonium and lower enthridium yes N three two four archaea go for on the same plant no. Stamen carpel on the same plant no. N three two four and archaea four you can see in Marchensia. Not on Cara. Marchensia is a bryophyte. Stamen and carpel you can see in angiosperms. In angiosperms and you know that the Cara is algae. upper enthridium lower oogonium no so first is correct 
फर्स्ट इज करेक्ट कारा हैज ओगोनियम एट द अपर पोजिशन एंड एंथ्रीडियम एट द लोअर पोजिशन एंथ्रीडियम एट द लोअर पोजिशन क्लियर ओके विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग आर मोनोशियस एंड डायोशियस मोनोशियस एंड डायोशियस आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू द डेफिनेशन सिंगल पेरेंट टू पेरेंट्स ओके कोकोबेट्स डेट पाम कोकोबेट इज मोनोशियस इट इज डायोशियस डेट पाम इज डायोशियस पपाया इज डायोशियस कोकोबेट इज मोनोशियस कोकोनट इज मोनोशियस so answer here will be one answer here will be one cucurbit is monoecious date palm is dioecious they have asked monoecious and dioecious respectively monoecious and dioecious respectively so answer will be one you need to learn or remember the examples of monoecious and dioecious important ओके देन सिन गेमी डज नॉट अकर आउटसाइड द बॉडी इन मोस्ट ऑफ द एलगी एस फिशेस एक्सेप्ट स्पाइरो गायरा इन विच इंटरनल फर्टिलाइजेशन अकर इंटरनल फर्टिलाइजेशन अकर इन स्पाइरो गायरा जिम्नोस्पाम्स नो इंटरनल फर्टिलाइजेशन Inside ovule, fertilization occurs inside ovule. Amphibians, yes, external fertilization occur. So in algae, fishes, amphibians, external fertilization occur, but in gymnosperms, internal fertilization occurs. In gymnosperms, internal fertilization occurs. Clear? I hope this is clear to all of you. Okay then. Pollens are the carrier of male gametes in algae. No bryophytes. No angiosperms. Yes, and gymnosperms as well. In angiosperms and gymnosperms, pollen grains are there to transfer the male gametes. Pteridophyte. No, right? In algae, bryophytes, pteridophytes, water is there. Water is there to transfer the male gametes. Water is there to transfer the male gametes, but in angiosperms and gymnosperms, pollen grains are there to transfer the male gametes. Pollen grains are there to transfer the male gametes. Clear? in flowering plants which of the following structure present before fertilization in seeds uh, seeds after fertilization pericarp after fertilization pericarp basically the wall of fruit ovule before answer will be 3 endosperm as you know after it is a nutritive tissue which provide nutrition to the developing embryo so ovule is present before the fertilization ovule is present before the fertilization clear next is china roses bisexual dioecious unisexual dioecious unisexual monoecious no it is bisexual and monoecious right which means here it means that bisexual flowers having both androecium and gynoecium 
on same parent here it means that the bisexual flowers are present on the same parent so this is the most appropriate otherwise we don't use monoecious condition when we use the bisexual uh, word but here it is the most appropriate so we will choose this okay china rose hibiscus hibiscus which of the following propagate through leaf tip walking fern yes also known as adiantum it is a pteridophyte so leaf of adiantum this is the leaf has bud at the tip so whenever this bud touches the ground a new plant is formed a new plant is formed so answer will be one adiantum the leaf of adiantum has bud on the tip whenever this bud touches the ground a new plant is formed a new plant is formed the walking fern is adiantum the name is adiantum is it is a pteridophyte next is the eyes of potato tubers is nothing but axillary birds right not root birds flower birds shoot birds they are axillary birds they are axillary birds next question is the straw bilanthus kunthiana as you know neela kuranji show flowering once in a 12 years yes transformed hilly tracts of kerala karnataka tamil nadu in blue stretches they have blue flowers that's why neela kuranji it is a monocarpic plant annual no i told you it is a perennial plant it lives for 12 years that's why it is perennial not annual monocarpic means flowers once in their lifetime perennial live perennial means lives for many years lives for many years that is known as perennial last question is which of the following vegetative propagule presary present large sized fleshy birds bulbils present in agave right bulb is present in onion sucker is present in pineapple rhizome is present in ginger also in chrysanthemum also in chrysanthemum guldabri we call it guldabri so yes bulbils they are present in agave they are the large fleshy birds right we already discussed this so i hope you enjoyed all the question so i really hope that uh, you basically uh in uh, be, uh basically when we are solving the questions we are revising the chapter right so i really hope this helped you a lot so see you in the le next lecture with a more interesting more important questions of the most important chapters till then take care bye bye